Welcome back, you here with Goldberg. Today I'll be talking about a major in geology. Is it worth your time, money, and efforts? So this is a course of study that I think at least officially belongs in the STEM category, although the career prospects, the earning potential is not necessarily in the same abundance. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't forge a, you know, a job path, but there's going to be a little bit more creativity required. It is certainly more competitive than in other categories. That's just yeah, a little bit of a tip before we get started. I do think geology is fascinating. I also did classes in oceanography, and that's uh, a similar subject, definitely worth delving into. But here the discussion is, can you make money? What kind of jobs are you going to be able to pursue? So we have this somewhat goofy article from like five, six years ago now from Forbes. Geology students are the happiest on college campus. This is a UK research that was performed, and here's some of the reasons. Geology allows you to pursue your curiosity about the world. You get to do field trips. Use your analytical skills to solve problems that no one has an answer to. Oh my gosh. A variety of different career paths. Cutting edge technology. Those are all the just stereotypical labels and catchphrases that universities will apply to really any major, any uh, departmental program. So obviously a little bit of caution is advisable. Now, given this came out, I think in 2015, the oil and gas market, well, I guess it had already started kind of crashing. It was 2014 when it really went belly up. But you just have to understand when you're dealing with certain commodities, certain resources, the availability of employment may be dependent on how the market itself is doing, what's going on in the Middle East. Now, of course, with uh, the drilling in North America to a lesser extent, but these are factors that cannot be ignored. So just running through the BLS, we have geoscientists. You see a 5% growth, but only 1,600 jobs, so not a whole lot. Geological hydrologic technicians, 5%, 1,000. Again, not tremendous. Uh, if we had not witness that contraction in oil and gas, even in some mining industries, certainly the offshore drillers, this would probably be uh, on the higher side. You might remember back in, it might have been 2014 actually, everyone was saying, go out to the Bakken oil sands, go work on an oil rig. That was the mainstream manosphere call to action. Just go and, you know, drive a truck for an oil company which some people made good money working six months out of the year, uh, but it's all going to be dependent on the industry, what skills you bring, and of course, like I said, what's the price of oil? Is it profitable enough to where you're going to actually have employment? And then mining and geological engineers, which understandably, that's not the exact same thing. Uh, there is, of course, the possibility of petroleum engineering, Slightly different, some overlap, and there you see 4%, only 300 jobs projected. So, generally speaking, I should just note, you have mining, geological, you're going to have petroleum, which is probably not incorporated into this specific listing. You have environmental consultants, environmental engineers as well. So, there's a lot of different paths potentially one could take, but as I said, just given these general figures specifically related to geological uh, mining industries it is not going to afford you the opportunity oh i can just coast along doing whatever you're going to have to be on point as far as what you're studying and how you're going about it just a quick note if you happen to be in the eu or you have eu citizenship this is actually a distance program stockholm university earth science so very similar to geology um, if you're going to major in geology, some of the stuff I've gathered, a good double major could be like statistics or especially GIS because that is used widely as far as, you know, whatever site you might be working on. And then particularly if you're looking at the corporate side or potentially going into research, if you do that, a minimum, the MS, just go ahead and do it. 
you might want to be also eyeing a PhD, but certainly get the master's because you want to be as competitive as possible when it comes down to the limited number of positions that will be available more than likely. So as far as possible job opportunities, this is U.S. Geological Survey. The number of listings I saw was, I believe, nine in total. And most of them are like hydrological trainees. Others were more related to the environment. But you can check them out here. Internships, recent graduates, and then uh, PMFP, which is a little bit more of an elite program. But that's a possibility, certainly, if you go to a top-ranked school. If you have, you know, good connections with professors, it's more, more than doable. And one should note there is the policy side. So it's not just the scientific. You could go and work on Capitol Hill. You could go work for a lobbying group. Whether you really need a hard science background, you know, varies, but it'd be useful to have at least a working knowledge, maybe doing a minor in it if you want to do some environmental advocacy group. But as far as specifically doing that major, one possibility would be working for the feds. You will find some primarily state governments where they might do, you know, certain work related to geoscience, but primarily it's going to be federal or there are some contracting companies, but I would just err towards the side of the feds just because you're going to have better benefits overall. And you might not make a lot of money to start, but if you stick with it over time, you'll be taken care of. Another option, of course, go the corporate route. This is the former CEO of BP. He had a PhD in geology. Uh, he was not a popular person from the UK. He kind of looks like Handy Circus. Um, but that's one route. Go into the company, try to work your way up. If you're going to be at an executive level, do you really need a PhD in geology? You know, it's all going to kind of depend. Um, it really is a function of who you are, how you adapt to a situation, and how much you can learn. But I don't think it would necessarily hurt. But does a CEO need a PhD? No, not forcibly. Nevertheless, that's one option, going to work for an oil and gas company, a mining company. But just understand it's going to be competitive, so you should be looking at, like I said, possibly a double major or doing the MS. And then, of course, there's the option of being a teacher that may not be the most appealing, but science teachers, there is a demand for them. So with that background, then you do the Master of Arts in Teaching certification, relatively easy to attain, and that's a stable career. Again, if you really want to be doing research in the field, it may not be exactly what's up your alley. But if we're talking about a job that's stable, that's one option. So that's what I think about geology. If there's any other questions, uh, majors that you want to see considered, just drop them below.